Welcome to Science Tree Channel. Have you ever think that why party balloons floats up in the air? Yes, that's all because of helium. Helium belongs to group number 18 of the periodic table. Or we can say it belongs to the noble family of the periodic table. It's colorless, odorless and tasteless gas. As it is non-toxic, so it's gonna be filled up in balloons. Helium is the second lightest element in the periodic table. Helium was discovered in 1868. And it's the most interesting fact about helium that firstly, it was discovered on sun, not on earth. Its name comes from Helios and it found in sun during solar eclipse. It is present in group number 18 of the periodic table. Helium is an inert gas as it belongs to the noble family of the periodic table or we can say to the richest family of the periodic table. It obeys duplet rule. So that's why it's stable and never get crazy to form bonds with other elements. Helium gas is present in stars and planets. If helium discovered on sun, then how it comes to our party balloons? Helium comes to earth by fractional distillation from ancient uranium byproducts. Fractional distillation is a process in which compounds and elements gonna be separate out on the basis of their boiling points. Helium is lighter than air, so when it comes out as a byproduct with uranium particles, it floats up in the atmosphere. Now it's time to move towards amazing facts about helium. It's a non-renewable resource and rare on earth because it floats away. So that's why we don't have to use it in unnecessary items. And it's quite amazing to know that it has lowest melting and boiling point among all elements. Its melting point is negative 272.2 Celsius and its boiling point is negative 268.9 Celsius. Why don't we use hydrogen in party balloons? Although it's lighter than helium because helium is a non-combustible gas. It never combusts like hydrogen and never corrodes like oxygen. So that's why it is used for different purposes. Helium is also used in welding purposes. Helium gas can also be converted into liquid helium. But liquid helium is very expensive. And it is the only gas cooled below absolute temperature. And it's amazing to know that it is used to cool MRI scanners and other medical machines. It's an interesting fact about helium. When helium is liquefied by cooling to cryogenic temperatures. Cryogenic temperature is below around 123 Kelvin. What do you think? What gonna be happened? Superfluid helium will form. And superfluid helium can climb up the walls of containers. Superfluidity occurs 
in two isotopes of helium helium 3 and helium 4 helium mixed with neon used to create laser beams last but not the least helium mixed with oxygen in high pressure taken by deep sea divers Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.